Yo, what's up guys, Just Gimme here, and welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. Alright, let's go. Old friends. Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's that? I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. I'd be looking for you. I had to run away. I, mean, I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> He's come a long way since the days of our little lab. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. So. <laughs> Have they made any progress on the info world? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. Just like Stranger Things, bro. <laughs> I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but. She's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Hey, then, Will. gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? I am going alone. Don't you dare. 
Oh, come on, why would you let him? I didn't want him to get in trouble. He's probably gonna get killed now. I don't like it, Judy. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in three months. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. I need to convince him. Come on, get out. Oh, come on. See Nora Gray? It seems too late to. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Hmm. Seventh floor, room forty-three. So far, so good. That's why I said not yet. He will probably just... Try to distract the guard first. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. your life to save this crazy world, Jody? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck did he even know who I am?
door. Three was it? Uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? I'm on it, bro. I'm on it like your mama. Uh, 39. I probably should have smacked all the cameras. Fuck's sake. Such a dumbass sometimes, dude. Forty three. I found it, Jody. Good job. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, Jody, I'm here. I'm coming. Yeah. Come on, what the fuck? I wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. If she won't be able to talk normally, then Aiden will come. Aiden will Jody. help me. be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's probably gonna best, be... You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want her to get Sedate her quickly! Please! Get the baby oh, out of here! Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. I'm sorry. 
You didn't say which doctor did it. It's probably <laughs> Sorry. the guy who helped you this whole time, you know. Not Cole, but what was his name? Dawkins? so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. There's nothing I can do. Really? Oh well. Why do they give me a chance to stay? What? There has to be something done. Most definitely. Or maybe it was in case if I forget, forgot to take the necklace. But I think I already took it and there's nothing else for me to do. Oh, wait. Oh, of course. She wanted it for, for it to end. She wanted it for it to end, so... Alright... Oh, wow! I'm sorry, Jody. Well, at least... Her mother won't have to suffer anymore. Mm. What's going on?
Ryan, I will kill you if I have to, you cocky son of a bitch. You backstabbing motherfucker. So, daddy? No way! It's gonna be Dawkins, right? Look at the. Oh, those are the girls that I saw as ghosts! This is Dawkins! He did all of this! No way! Dawkins did this to her mom as well. Or maybe she's just back in the lab where she was always, you know, when she was a kid. And what the fuck is this? The most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh! Jody, it's good to see you. Okay, maybe I was wrong. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Uh, what about Cole? Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. Don't lie to I me. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? Okay, You okay. want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. Mm. All right. Out. 72% ask about Dawkins, 83 distracted the guard, 
Um, 72% ended no worse suffering. 49 learned your father's name. Explore the cells with Aiden. Took the medallion. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infant world and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. Well, I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Ryan? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the Infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Good to see you. Fuck off. For the mission's sake? Try to keep Biden from killing you? But no promises. Well, we're off to a great start. What the fuck is going on now? What? Oh, great. What's up? Ching, join, ching, join, coin, coin. I got tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Yes, yes, of course. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. Uh, don't, no worries. So, I ask you one last You time. can kill that guy. Who do you work for? Your mama. Where are you? The fuck? Oh, I guess they show how the mission started, okay. Okay. It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse! What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? Wait, what? I'm pretty sure he can't go that far. Alright, I see a shelter here. But I guess it won't be good enough. 
What about here? Nah. Oh, found it. There's a house over there. Got it. Let's go. What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Everything's wet. Let me try. Damn, all this stuff is soaking. We better find something. We won't make it to the night. Go out. I'm desperate. For don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. There what? There's nothing there. What the fuck? Oh wow, she was serious. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. It's freezing. What the fuck? <laughs> Can you move a bit faster? They're here. I saw them. Where? On the main road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. They see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them! Can 
can go any faster. Wow, it was right there. They just had to. Bingo. Whoa. I didn't go see what's inside. Sure thing. Submarines, that's what's inside. Soldiers. They're loading crates into, into submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is. I mean, they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Get rid of them. Um... Excuse me? I could just smack that shit onto him. He would be... Okay, right, right, right. Hey bro, let me help you. You stuck? Hey. Tinsa! So dumb that you can't run. Now. Just give me a second, okay? Uh, let me check this place. Well, I guess there's nothing here. We could use that submarine. What exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? That's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. not make it back alive, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I've known that from the start. Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. Oh, wow, I'm actually controlling it. That's nice. I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades. No, not really. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. You say nothing, you hear me? I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? Not gonna say anything. That looks painful. All you have to do is answer, and your comrade will not suffer anymore. Not telling anything. Still won't answer? Yes. What do I have to do to make you speak? Nothing! Just let us go. Perhaps you will not remain silent if I go a little further. Yeah, nice, you got his tooth. Or maybe it wasn't tooth. Oh, ew, his eye? This is so unnecessary. You only have to answer and this nightmare will come to an end. Answer, I beg you. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. An urgent request demands my attention. I shall return soon to continue our conversation. No rush, you can take your time. <laughs>
Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And next time we come back, we're just gonna continue to play the game. So yeah, anyways, see ya.